Look, sometimes you guys ask questions that I already know the answer to, or at least think I know the answer to, but I still go through the process of due diligence to ensure that I have confirmed what I thought was the answer to that question. And in today's case, that is, does the resize bar for NVIDIA impact mining at all? We're gonna talk about it right after a word from our today's sponsor is myself. To support the channel, click the join button down below and you will be able to access our privately hosted rocket chat. Selecting the 199 option will get you access and after that you just need to head on over to the membership tab, scroll down and expand out your membership perks and find the section for connecting on social media. In that section there will be a secret registration URL for rocket chat where you can sign up and enjoy talking with other cryptocurrency enthusiasts and miners without scammers, spammers, or bots. Welcome back. So if you guys aren't familiar, the resize bar setting is essentially what enables the smart access memory feature on the Ryzen 5000 series, along with, of course, the Radeon 6000 series GPUs. It improves primarily gaming performance, and that has been around for quite some time with Radeon, and now NVIDIA has added support. What it will require is that you update your motherboard BIOS, and that update will be AGESA 1.1.0.0 or newer, primarily on B550 chipsets. You will still at this time need the Ryzen 5000 series CPUs with possible support coming to the latest Intel CPUs and chipset, as well as older generation Ryzen CPUs, but I'm still kind of up in the air on when that will actually be in effect. Now you should be careful because the BIOS update that is required to do this will impact you if you have a 3300X CPU and you won't be able to boot. So just keep that in mind. If you do have a 3300X, A, it's not gonna work anyways. B, you're gonna end up not being able to boot into your system. This is just a fair warning. So after that, the next thing that you need to do is go into the motherboard settings, turn off CSM compatibility, and then go over back to your settings for the PCIe slots, and you will need to change the above 4G decoding to enabled, and then set the resize bar to enabled as well. You'll save the BIOS settings, restart the PC, and then you're gonna need to upgrade or update your GPU. Now, the only GPUs that have the BIOS update that I've seen so far has been the Gigabytes. My EVGAs do not have any BIOS updates available to support this yet and I'll have to see if that comes along here in the near future, and that's a 3070 and a 3060 Ti. Neither one of those have support for this yet or a BIOS flash. So if you do have a gigabyte, you can go to the website, download the BIOS that supports, of course, the resize bar. You will flash the GPU, and then once you have flashed the GPU, you are going to reboot the computer, and then you will need to install the latest NVIDIA driver. Be careful here once again, because if you're mining and you've been using the dev driver 470 for your 3060s to improve the hash rate and get bypass the block on Ethereum, then of course this will affect that and you won't get that extra mining performance on the 3060. So does it improve the mining performance on the other GPUs, the non 3060 GPUs. And from everything I can tell after extensive testing for the past few hours, it appears that there is no significant change in hash rate between the resize bar being turned on and the resize bar being turned off. You can confirm that you have this activated by right clicking your desktop, hitting the NVIDIA control panel, and then clicking system information. There will be a little slot there, a line that says resize bar support, and then it will say yes or no if it's enabled. So if you wanna test this yourself, that's pretty much it. I will be trying to do a follow-up video on a guide on how to do it with clear steps because it can be a little convoluted. So if that sounds helpful, hit the notification bell down below the channel. A like would be much appreciated. Hopefully that answered your question. For now, don't bother. Your best bet is to stick with 470.5. 
driver, that beta driver that they pulled down, just so you can keep your 3060s mining at full performance as well. So I'll see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, you can check out more crypto content on this playlist up here. Or of course, go ahead and subscribe for more in the future. Adios.